What is the crack, lads? And welcome back to part two of our top beasts to buy. So yeah, this one went down well. Obviously, a lot of you guys coming in with your recommendations. I had a part two already underway, and it's great to see some of the suggestions in the comments making it into this one as well. Because I think the more you play, the more you come up against guys that are, you know, play way above their stats. And I think with the gameplay changes in eFootball 23, some of these players are definitely, definitely worth a look at or an extra look at. So first up, we have got our budget buy, which is Goriaran. I think that's how you pronounce his name, lads. Um, but he is playing in the Liga MX. He's a 73 overall centre midfielder, right? He's cheap as chips, lads. He's only 15,000 GP. And we're going to get a look at him over on eFootballDB.com here. Now, he is on D form, but he has 41 player levels. And look at his stats, man. Absolutely incredible stats for a 15,000 GP player, a centre midfielder. We bumped up his defensive awareness to 87. We bumped up his acceleration to 79. That brings up everything else and his ball control control is good his passing is extremely good for a center midfielder i came up against this guy in the liga mx challenge and he was an absolute beast next up we have got nottingham forest a frowler or frailer i think it's frowler lads as far as i know i really should look up these players pronunciations but you know it is what it is center midfielder again in the same ilk as you're going to be looking at a lot of these players what does he train up to now he's got unwavering form but watch how we max him out right so 79 acceleration seems to be just the sweet spot for center midfielders especially when they do have that defensive awareness very high as well look at his defensive stats lads absolutely incredible defensive stats for a player that's only going to cost you 51,000 gp which is pennies in eFootball 2023 his passing his dribbling everything else is fairly fairly solid as well next up we have got liverpool's jota who is back from injury as far as i know but he is a beast lads as well he definitely deserves to be on this list i featured him in my pez or my eFootball 2022 videos as well liverpool fans will be delighted he does have unwavering form as far as i know he's got so many player skills he's got excellent player skills and it's that base of stats as well. Now, are you going to play him as an SS? Are you going to play him as a winger? Are you going to play him as a center forward? I would definitely play him as a center forward. I think he outperforms a lot of the center forwards that are around the 200,000 GP mark. Yes, he is a bit more pricey than the first two guys on the list. That is the way we kind of do this. We kind of give a couple of budget guys there is a couple of budget guys coming after this and then we give kind of like a hidden gem as well um but jota is a fantastic player lads in efootball 2023 i've come up against him quite a bit and i've been surprised at how difficult he has been to stop you know he's kind of like in the same ilk as nunez or lataro martinez or somebody like that Next up, we have got Jesus Navas. Again, this guy is a right back by trade, right? But I'm going to show you something and give you something to think about here because I actually came up against a guy that was using him AMF. And I kind of went in and looked at his stats and I kind of started to test him out my other account. And he does look to be a bit of a beast. And I'll tell you one key reason why, right? If we go over to eFootball DB and we train him up and we get his acceleration, his speed up 85, 87, his defensive awareness is at 80, his ball control, dribbling, passing, everything is really high there, right? He's also got really nice balance and stamina. But look at his defensive awareness. It's at a 70. So for your attacking midfielder to have a 70 defensive awareness, he might be the player on your team that has the lowest defensive awareness, but you're going to be able to get a lot of interceptions, a lot of breakdowns. He's a defender by, you know, kind of like his coding. So he is going to be harder to get past. Speaking of defensive minded center midfielders or attacking midfielders, this guy is almost like crept under the radar for so long. I've actually had him on my other account in eFootball 2022 and I was clearing out my squad the other day going through different players and I started to look at this guy and I was like, well, why did I keep him? And it was for this video because he is a monster. Box to box CMF. His stats on the surface don't look great but look at what he actually trains up to lads 88 center midfielder 80 acceleration 75 speed that's fine 77 ball control 77 low pass fine look at his defensive stats lads unbelievable 91 stamina 82 balance and then he's into the high 80s or low 90s with his defensive side of the game this is a guy i think that keep an eye on psg's live data update and their form if you get this guy on b or a form i think he will be as good as barrios as good as good as kante as good as even dare i say it somebody like kimmich in there or makalele who is just an absolute stopper in the middle of the pitch 
that's what eFootball 23 has become. Stopping the passing lane, stopping the ball getting through and making it as difficult as possible because the you know the defense is just super, super easy at the moment and, and overpowered. One of my favorite players, I would say, in Pez, in Master League for the last couple of years, I might end up buying it for my new series with Newcastle. And also one of my favorite players to play with in eFootball 22 and 23. I play with this guy a good bit with testing out, reviewing players on other account. He is a monster lads unbelievable player in the center of the pitch and he's again somebody that you can boost up in various different ways he's got his speed he's got his ball control he's got his low passing but again look at that defensive side of the game which is where the meta has gone that is where you know the games are won and lost now is who can dominate who and a lot of the time it comes down to players that are able to dominate in the middle of the pitch in terms of blocking the passes in terms of cutting down space in terms of pressing in terms of making it difficult for your opponent to kind of pass through you and I think that Marcus Lorente is probably one of the best players in the game I would say he's top 10 he's super super underrated I know that you're going to have a lot of bigger names that are going to overshadow him but if you just take a look at his stats there there I mean you can't say anything about him next up we've got Rafael Liao now you can get Liao in the actual AC Milan pack that went up the club pack for AC Milan or you can obviously buy him for 150,000 GP which is quite cheap I think he's kind of the new meta center forward the new in form center forward everyone seems to be using him with the AC Milan pack which just goes to show you that a lot of people are buying and supporting the packs which you know that's why they keep coming out with him so Liao is an absolute monster lads 150,000 GP you'll see there that his actual AC Milan pack is a beastly 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 card right three beastlies there 95 acceleration the reason we're going with the 95 acceleration is for two reasons we want the offensive awareness past 81 and we also want his balance up at 91 as high as we can possibly go so you are going to be pumping in all your progression points into dexterity and then there's going to be a bit into shooting as well you don't need to worry about his dribbling too much once it's up past 84 and obviously you can tweak as well which you know play style proficiency you want so take one or two um from passing or whatever you want to do there but this guy is the real deal lads i think i would put him up in the same form as maybe nunez from the first season of efootball 22 everyone remembers him and timber kind of them unsung heroes for cheap next up and last to finish us off with this series we have got Av uh, david alaba tongue twister tongue twister i can't even speak david alaba from madrid 200 he's the most expensive player on this list and in probably both videos that i've done part one and part two check out part one if you haven't already i will leave i will leave a link in the description below and also at the end of this video I think Alaba, I'm going to say it lads, right? I think that the meta has shifted quite a bit, but I still think that Alaba, if you boost him up and you train him up in the right way, such as what I have done here on eFootballDB.com, you are going to have one of the best players in the game. Like you could play him DMF and you're going to be able to have one of the best DMFs in the game. You could also play him left back and boost up his acceleration and take down his defensive awareness a little bit, but it is possible to get him up to 95 defensive awareness with 78 speed and acceleration, his passing. This guy plays way above his stats. I mean, I know that the dribble in there looks quite decent, quite bad, 68, but trust me, lads, trust me. If you have played with Alaba, his dribbling is more like a mid-70s. He's just unbelievable. I think he's probably one of the best all-around players in the game. He's definitely top five or six players now in eFootball 23 but let me know what you guys think do you agree or disagree let me know what you guys think I will be back quite soon with another video I hope you guys are enjoying these let me know if you've got any more suggestions for videos and we'll get on them until next time lads hope you're enjoying the series don't forget to subscribe and let me know your recommendations in the comments below peace